Whatever it is, I missed it. Start casting. Should we take out multiple? Uh, <laughs> multiple? Right here, right here. Oh, Jax, get out. get out there. Get out there. Big Jax. Cast. Which one are you casting? Oh my god, get the pink. Dude is out, somebody's gotta reel it in for me. Let's go guys, reel that go, pink in, quick. Go, here they grab the pink one. Where is it? Where is right it? here, it's real out. You're gonna have a fish on like two seconds. Right, Piggles, right there. Reel that right out, there. Connor. Megan, reel that Piggles, in. Piggles, right there. Megan, reel that in. Thank you. Piggles, right reel there, I see him. as fast as you can. He doesn't want it. Big. Oh, they're big jacks. Come on, Megan, get me. Megan, get me. Okay. Hold that. Big freaking jack. Where'd he go? They're over there. They're moving that way. Yeah. Hold it. Big girl over there. Yeah. Think they're moving that way towards the flat. They just go down. Look for it. There they are. Oh! Oh, he just blew up on it. Hit it! Hit it! Fish on! On her. Come on, Connor! Reeling your fish! I'm videotaping you. Big Jack, come on! All right, got it. Someone take it over here. Just keep it on, Darcy. All right, got it. Sorry, you guys have to help film. All right, all right. Connor's gonna catch the first fish of the day here. Let's go. You're gonna keep your tip up, and you got a big Jack. He's running. What's up? Okay. Go ahead, reel. So you want to just keep your tip up, and then like just reel down, like. Bring your tip down just a little bit and reel. So You're not gonna reel when nothing's spinning. What? You're not gonna reel when nothing's spinning. That's good. good. You got it. There you go. There you go. All right. Nice. Awesome. All right. So today is a family fishing day out here in beautiful Boynton Beach, and we're doing some inshore fishing. We just came across a school of jacks. Here's my brother Connor. He is down visiting for spring break. Also, Rachel and my sister Megan is here as well. And Connor's got a nice fish. He's fighting a big jack. Wow, look at him, look at him nice. right here. He's close to the boat already. We got a nice fish on. He just crushed my pink Azuri crystal minnow. Whoa, follow your fish. Perfect, good job. That's a big one. Nice job, Connor. Put your tip down, tip down. Yep, you gotta follow. There you go. So you wanna put your tip down when he runs into the boat like that. He might not be done. He's a big one. That's a big jack. Awesome. awesome. These fish fight super hard, so we got him close to the boat now, but he's a good 8, 10 pound Jack Craval. Awesome. He's putting up a good fight, right? So That's a nice. big one too. We'll get a nice picture with him. But those fish get like 30 pretty, pounds. Really? They're really that, gorgeous. There was a pack of them? Yellow and silver. Really? Yeah. They were blowing yeah, up on bait. Fish. There was like a hundred of them in that school. They were all big jacks. All right, let's get that net out. In the next turn, we're going to get him out. He's fine. We're good. Just keep tension on that line, keep that tip up, we won't lose them. Got it! Nice! Oh, nice. 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 So pretty! Nice. Open your bail on your run. Good job! Awesome! Big old Jack Kerbal in the boat. Wow. Awesome first fish. Woohoo! Nice solid Jack right here. And he just crushed this Uzuri Crystal Minnow. And of course, I'll have the link down in the description for you guys if you want to check out these minnows. But I love them. The pink color and the gold, black color, they kill it. And um, basically, I was just retrieving this lure as fast as I possibly could. And these jacks just exploded on it. Super cool. So let's get them out of here. And then, uh, but awesome. We are trying all morning to catch fish. So the bite is just turning on this afternoon. So we're stoked. And we just got a nice one. So hopefully, we can get a snook too. All right. We're going to go ahead and release this Jack Craval, and uh, like I said before, you guys didn't see her yet, but ooh, that was bad. <laughs> Megan, come here. This is Megan, my sister, one of the twins. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting for the twins to be in my videos. Two, three. Oh, you're two! <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. So we got half of the crew here. The other half is in Chicago on spring break. Uh, not on spring break yet, right? Spring break now. Spring break now, but she's gonna be down in like a month or so. So we'll get them both on the boat. But we got Megan, we got Connor, my brother, What's and up? my brother's girlfriend, Rachel. And uh, Rachel has never caught a fish. So we're gonna try to get Rachel a fish. I'm gonna release this fish right now. I just wanna show you real quick. Look at this on his back. Some weird 
deformation. It looks like he got hit and uh, it just healed and it's got this weird bump here. It just looks weird. I thought it was pretty cool, but to share with you guys. But uh, I'm just gonna dunk him head first and let him go. That was a nice school of jacks. Here we go. Good, Hunter. Who wants it, Megan? Come on. All right, this fish is swimming towards the boat. So you're just gonna grab this for me and you're gonna continue reeling. Oh, he's running. Okay, here we go. Okay, keep your tip up. Yep, reel, perfect. Keep your tip up and reel. You'll land that fish. How you doing, Megan? I'm doing good. Oh, you got a ribbon fish. <laughs> These things are crazy looking. Wait till you see this thing. All right, let's pull them over here. Look at this thing. Wow. These things are wild looking. They're like the creepiest fish in the world. Wow. Right, there you go, stop reeling. Open the bail. Look at them. And he's got super sharp teeth, so just wait till we see him. But we got another ribbon fish in the boat. Megan just caught a ribbon fish. It's like these things are, okay, they got some serious teeth. You mostly find them offshore, but they get big too. They get like 20 feet long. They get insane. But um, let's see if I can grab them here and then hook them. Woo! Don't want to get bit by him. He is so colorful. Wait, wouldn't this be like a good nail polish color? Yeah. <laughs> Check him out. Feel him, yeah. He's got that long fin, fin up there. And just look at the teeth. Wicked. That's like even more wicked than like a barracuda. Sorry. <laughs> well, you're just ribbon fish that use for it. fish bait. All right, you're just going to squeeze him here tight because you don't want to get, you definitely don't want to get hit by him. Just control his head. All right, anyway, squeeze, grab, grab his head there. Hi. There you go. And then just, you just point him towards the camera kind of like that. Pretty. There you go. Nice. Megan's catch. Yeah. We're looking for the snook, but the snook, snook are not working with us today. But hey, she caught a ribbon fish. That's pretty cool. She never caught one of those either. So awesome. Brian just caught a monster snook. <laughs> it happened so quick, he couldn't even pass off the reel or anything. And uh, we just decided to pull this big old lip diver. You can see it right here with wire and everything. And uh, dives down real deep. And what happened, Brian? Explain. Well, let me tell you, Darcy, here's what happened. I've been wanting to pull this big thing because I, I saw the wow. jacks. Can I you saw... pop, pop the bail? Pop the bail? Pop the bail. Come on, hurry. I saw the jacks. I've been hitting some bigger mullet, so I decided to put that thing out there. Oh, my God. Now, I was, just, I was just putting it out, and the thing, because the thing goes so deep, it was been hitting bottom bad, and uh, it just hammered it right behind the boat. It was like, I don't know, 10 feet behind the boat is pretty crazy. Good and job, then, Brian. Uh, it's supposed to be Rachel's fish, actually. Uh, but the thing hit it right next to the boat, and I, I didn't want to hand it off, and couldn't even get the camera, and uh, it was right in the prop wash. I had this big, so I had this big, this big mag, big magnum lift diver right in it, right, just right behind the boat, man, like really, really close. Alright, we got I gotta help her get this thing out because I'm pretty good with the treble hooks. I'm almost done. Keeper. 30 and a half, 31. Keeper. Where are you going by the fork in the tail? Or? No, just the whole, the whole tail. Whole, whole body. Tail. Line it up. And you gotta squish it. Line it up. And boom. 31. 31 inch snook. Slot fish, guys. Slot snook. Bringing some pictures with this beautiful fish. Let's go. Bring it up front. Awesome. Hey guys, all right, we're wrapping it up and I, I just want to apologize a little bit. I know you missed us catching that snook. I caught it on this big Magnum 30. Now this is one of those old rusty Rapala. lures. What did, I, what did I say? You said Magnum. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a Rapala 30. Yes. Rapala Magnum 30. Yeah. All right, so by Rapala, it's a 30, okay? It's a big one, all right? Now this is like one of those lures that you have in the bottom of your tackle box, which is a little rusty and you never catch any fish on. Um, so I, but I noticed that the fish, uh, there was a lot of big bait, big mullet. In the in the in the, in the like coastal the same there, size this thing. like yeah, yeah, coincidentally. So I was like, all right, we got to put out that big magnum lip diver, okay? It also goes down deep, but now we're only about four or five feet of water, and this thing just goes like straight down. So I had to put it super close. It was like, it, it was like right by the propeller, man. And I put it out, 
and it just got hammered in two seconds. And I was using our new. No joke, like minute into him trolling that lure, the fish was on. Like automatic, and I, I couldn't grab the camera enough. I couldn't even put it down. But we're using these new Max L's now. We, I'm using this Hybrid 20, which is one of our new Max L's. And you saw these the other day, but this is the rod we used, or the reel. And and this is a, uh, a Ocean Max Gold rod that we just got too. And I got 50 pound tough line braid on here. And this had a number nine wire, which is like heavy Wahoo wire on here. And man, I just tied it on. So the other point is, you know, you want to match the hatch. Um, but secondly, you know, you just gotta get the lures in front of the fish. It doesn't always matter that, you know, you have a crappy old lure or rusty hooks, or you have like, no, I had like no leader. I had this much fluorocarbon leader, just cause the only way I could tie on to that wire. number nine wire. I just wanted to get out there and catch a fish cause it was getting yeah. late. That and was a little bit Guggenish of him. Totally he Guggen. totally changed it to fluoro, but hey, he caught a fish, so. Totally Guggen, I just wanted to get it yeah. out. So, you know, <laughs> the point is don't get sometimes all tied up in all this, you know, little minutia, you know, you know, you gotta be in front of the fish, all right? So, uh, I really loved how the reel works. You know, we've been using these for a little bit of time now, and that's what I mentioned, you know, as compared to like the, uh, this is comparable to the accurate, accurate Valiant we used to use. And a little difference is here, really, it has a clicker. The Valiant doesn't have a clicker, I don't know why, and it has this bar, you know, like a bass thumb bar, so you get to free spool it, and which, you know, we engage with the, with the thing, of course. So, so that's really it, I wanna tell you about that. We caught that slot snook, it was awesome. And back to Darcy. Yeah, and just wanted to mention all that stuff that he just explained will be down in the description below. I'm going to have Amazon links. You can go check out the new Maxell reel. They're really awesome. We really like them so far. And even though he caught a fish on it first, I haven't caught one yet. But we like it. I like it. I was messing around with it. So that stuff will be down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. As you can see, um, I, I, got, I have a new hairstyle going on. My sister braided it again. So she's like a expert braid whatever you call that i don't know expert braid. braider braider there you go <laughs> expert braider so big thank you to megan and i just had fun with my family today so that was awesome and i'll definitely get the twins on both on the boat one of these days hopefully soon i know you guys want to see both of them together it's a lot of fun when both of them are together but thank you again for watching please subscribe if you haven't already i would really appreciate it and until our next adventure follow your dream and keep on catching